is up everybody it's your boy i am king j back in the building that's right we're back here with more atlanta falcons connected franchise and um i just wanted to show you guys to start this episode before we get into week one um i did start my head coach tree uh and we decided to go with a, a offensive minded head coach this time around and I did that because we have a lot of young offensive linemen in Lindstrom, um, Hennessy, and now Moody that I really wanted to get this offensive line XP game, grant because they don't really get XP like talking about. So that's what we did. Uh, hopefully it's helpful and gets us somewhere we want to be. Um, but yeah, we did use both of our upgrade points that we had right now on the offensive line XP one. So that's what we did as far as our skill tree goes for now we're like i said we're gonna lean more towards the offensive side of the ball and i think that is the way to go in the end uh so we're gonna set our season goal and honestly our season goal is i just want to hit seven wins if we can hit seven wins i feel comfortable um and that's just being that we uh I just don't see us really being that much better than your average team. So I think we're going to be middle of the pack. Now, here is where we get into some some of the new things. The weekly strategy for this week. Um, they have it set as defend the QB scramble. And I'm intrigued by this, but like, honestly, I think we're going to defend the short pass. I think Jalen Hurts is going to try and beat us underneath a lot. And I think if we could shut that down, we could really beat him. So... That'll be our defensive strategy. Our offensive game plan going into this week is, honestly, I want to uh, I want to try and throw a medium. I want to beat this team over the middle of the field. I think they have a lot of linebackers that aren't the greatest, especially in coverage. So I'd like to really pick on that and see what we can do with Kyle Pitts and Russell Gage and Calvin Ridley and just see what these guys can really do on that level. And then I think Steven Sims will get his and beat them underneath a little bit as well. So that is our training. Um, we've got a couple player upgrades it looks like out of that training, which is always good to see. Um, Matt Hannes, yep. And then two offensive linemen already getting that uh, upgrade point. I want, it to, I want them to become good pass protection. So uh, it might not bump their overall right away, but we're going to do pass protection for every offensive line we have until they can really be, I think, reliable pass protectors because we have a good run blocking team right now. And there's nothing wrong with having a really good run blocking team, but we don't have a running back. <laughs> and we, I mean, we have a quarterback who's basically a running back in Cam Newton, but... I'm excited to see what happens. So that's what we're going to go into this week one game. Um, and I'm going to get into the game and I'll see you guys there. All right, guys, here we go. Week one, Cam Newton coming out of the tunnel in that black and red. And I will say the Falcons new uniforms, I just love them. They're some of the best uniforms in football, I think, right now. Um, there you see it. We're looking to really just. And we're not, we might not actually be playing the Cam Newton's best strength here because we're doing medium pass in this game, but I think Cam Newton can really strive in our offense, honestly. Um, there you see it, the dubbed Mercedes-Benz Dome here in the Georgia Dome. Super exciting here. And we're going to get into week one action. All right, folks, here we go. We're going to be starting the game on defense as Young Hoku <clears throat> kicks the ball off to start this 2021-2022 NFL season. So, all right, here we go, folks. We see Jalen Hurts coming on the field, and we really want to not let Jalen Hurts dominate us. Um, but uh, Big hit there by Deion Jones. <clears throat> and that's what I was saying. I think they're going to try and beat us underneath and keep us going. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to throw a blitz their way and try and rattle the young quarterback here early. Fabian Morrow gets his hand in on that one. Beautiful play. 
Um, so what I'm thinking for this, guys, is I really want to do... I want to make this series as balanced as possible. So I doubt we will play every game, but we will play... Oh, what a chunk downfield. Good defense there by AJ Terrell. Uh, but I do think we will play, like... Maybe either every other game or every couple games we will play. We might play one Sim 2 type thing just to keep it balanced because this team shouldn't win a lot of games, but I also feel like if I play a lot, I will get really good and start winning. So we'll see. Um, we do have our home field modifiers that you see Cam Newton. And I think we're going to be all right with Cam Newton. I'm excited to see what he can do. I think... Utilizing him to his skill set is going to be the key. Um, so we're going to start out in a pistol formation. We're going to actually use him as a read option quarterback to start and see what happens. Um, see if we can maybe make something happen here. And there you see Mike Davis. Up the middle for seven. That's what we like to see. Catching the defense off guard. Um, Let's go here. Let's go with... All right, Russell Gage is going to go to the outside. We're actually going to put... Oh, I'm sorry. I want to do that. We're going to put Ridley on that streak route and see what happens. Oh! That was almost picked off. They got their foot inbound, so got to be careful with that a little more. That was a risky throw. I tried to fit one in there, but... Couldn't quite get it into Russell Gage. So we'll see what happens here. We have Kyle Pitts one-on-one. -on -one. We're going to chuck it downfield to the big tight end. Hayden Hurst. The ball is batted up in Hayden Hurst. Right place, right time. Gets it in the end zone. Tip drill work to our advantage there. And... Um, you seen Kyle Pitts actually went up for that ball. Kyle Pitts just off the line, almost beating that guy. And the safety help did eventually knock the ball out, but Hayden Hurst, right place, right time, catches it. We got a little bail out there, but we will take it as we are the first team to strike gold here. And we have a greatly reduced fumble chance, which is good for a team that we're going to be looking to run the ball a lot more uh, over the course of this season, obviously. But that is a good home modifier for us. So I'm excited for that. And we also have uh, <clears throat> players run slightly faster than normal. So that's two good things. And it's really good because, I mean, this team is built off of SEC guys. They're used to playing outside and, like, rough humid weather so they should be a little better at running and just being that getting that little extra step and staying stamina wise really good so we're gonna use a richie green here to rookie and there it is oh no olua coon hurt that's not good i don't want to see that ever Especially from a guy that we're going to be relying on it like oh man that's tough oh good pass there he finds his man strain tricep he won't be back this game hopefully he will be back soon or he won't be out much time other than this game but we'll have to go here without our second best linebacker Jalen Hurts right now finding his rhythm. A young man trying to settle in. Uh, first drive he went three and out, but this drive he's looking good so far. Jalen Hurts don't want to let him get that. Oh, he stiff arms a defender. Somebody bring him down. There we go. And Jalen Hurts showing off that athleticism that makes him so dangerous. And, and Jalen Hurts an Alabama product or Alabama via Oklahoma product too. Because he also did go to Oklahoma. But we're going to blitz him again. He finds his man. Big hit there. <clears throat> Deron Harmon, I believe that was. Slows down the momentum for a second. But they are finding success through the air is this Eagles team right now. And our defense has their backs against the wall. They're trying to bend but not break. 
Good coverage. Very good coverage. And forces Jalen Hurst to slide after he gets a few yards there. Very good team-oriented coverage there from our defense. They're going to look to keep this up. Miles Sanders gets the ball, but he is stopped in his tracks. No gain of nothing. He gets barely back to the line of scrimmage. Third and six. Our defense can bend but not break here if they just play their cards right. And A.J. Terrell almost had another interception, but no good. He steps out of bounds as we hold him to three here. This defense is looking very good here early. And they kick the ball. It is good. Three points on the board for the Philadelphia Eagles. And looking at the bottom of our screen, Carolina still tied at zero with the New York Jets. Division rival, obviously, want to keep an eye on that game. Cordero Patterson doesn't get back to the 20, but we'll take it. And we're now going to come in and we're going to look to try and maybe solidify this run a little more. Gonna go ahead and do this one. <clears throat> Here we go. Mike Davis gets one. Cam Newton tries to get out the pocket, gets brought down by Brandon Graham. The big time defensive end for the Philadelphia Eagles. Right, we're gonna line up in the shotgun here. Looking for Kyle Pitts again, picked off. Cam Newton thrown in the coverage there. Cam Newton threw it in the coverage, trying to force it to his tight, his young tight end. And Miles Sanders snags one there, brings it down, rolls out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Second and four coming up. And over the middle, Jalen Hurts finds his man in Devontae Smith, the former Heisman winner out of Alabama, the rookie. Of course, that was the Philadelphia Eagles' first round pick this year. He's one of the premier receiving options along with Kyle Pitts. And he has his first career reception before Kyle Pitts. And there it is, the Philadelphia Eagles pound back into this game and they are now leading the Atlanta Falcons pending the extra point 10 to 7 and there it is folks 10 to 7 is the game right now <clears throat> first quarter winding down for Daryl Patterson looking to get another return or another opportunity to return this ball here back at the 18 Daryl Patterson might look to try and figure something out here. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Cam Newton might look to figure something out here as Cordero Patterson was brought down at the 18. This offense needs to get moving. There it is, Russell Gage trying to catch the edge. Doesn't quite get it, but he does get a gain of one. Hurry up in motion. Mike Davis.
<clears throat> we're gonna go back to the actually we're gonna audible out of here we're gonna run these slants cam newton in trouble slings one can calvin ridley get it he does calvin ridley with the toe tap What a play there by Calvin Ridley. <clears throat> what a beautiful throw from Cam Newton. He was on the run in trouble and just found a way to get it to his guy. Mike Davis gets the handoff. Beautiful blocking up front by Kyle Pitts. Back into the hurry up again. Kyle Pitts finds his way open. What a grab from the young man right there. And outside of that interception, Cam Newton has looked very promising. Gonna... Pitch the ball here to Mike Davis. Runs over a defender, gets a couple there. And we have an injury timeout as Matt Hennessy is grabbing his wrist, it looked like. Cam Newton gets the ball out just in time as that blitz came around. Good awareness from Cam Newton to get that ball out before taking that sack. Oh, and that pass is broken up by the defense. Dislocated ankle for Matt Hennessy. That is not a good thing to have. He will be out probably sometime. And an uh, offensive line that has struggled here early is going to struggle a little more without their starting center. <clears throat> Young Hoku punches in the kick, though, puts us tie ball game. Jones. And there it is. Jalen Hurts brought down as he tried to scramble out of the pocket there. Jalen Hurts rattled, tried to get the ball off, but got stuck on his offensive line. <clears throat> And third and seven now, this defense trying not to not to break and get a give up a first down here is this could be the play that really changes the momentum of this game early on. And there it is, he finds his man, Jalen Hurts. Finds Devontae Smith underneath. Big tackle there by Richie Grant, stopping Miles Sanders from getting to the first down. Hmm. And Steven Means gets in there for the tackle. And 
Hold on, guys. I'm trying to see why isn't Zuniga in or Grady Jarrett out for the game with a dislocated shoulder. I didn't see that. Um, okay, that's big. But Zuniga hasn't been in either. Did they accidentally change it or did the game automatically change it? Because he should be our... Supposed to be this. Okay, so for some reason... Is he hurt? Maybe he's hurt more than I thought. Do I not have an injury report anymore? I guess medical center dealing with police stuff. I don't know. I don't know where Zuniga is, but we'll have to figure that out because he should be on this team. But hope the game didn't cut him. And a <clears throat> dump off there is Jalen Hurt finds his receiver behind the line of scrimmage. Loss of two and a fourth down, resulting in a punt to the Atlanta Falcons. And Cordero Patterson going to try and get out of trouble. Nope, brought down immediately. go Falcons back on the field now going to continue to probably try moving the ball on the ground it's worked so far for this team Cam Newton keeps it, but brought down almost immediately. Not a good look from that team. Or from, <clears throat> from where we're sitting anyway. Cam Newton keeps the ball and just gets brought down. He finds Kyle Pitts, who turns up field. First down and then some, Kyle Pitts. What a play there, as the Falcons have really flourished in this hurry-up offense today. Russell Gage now underneath. And Cam Newton doing... I think that's where Cam Newton does his best work, guys, is when you really just let him be Cam Newton and just do what he does best. Russell Gage, not quite fast enough as Cam Newton overthrows the ball, and we're lucky that wasn't intercepted. Cam Newton now going to go back to his bag of tricks and... Look and see if maybe he can make something happen. And that's picked off. Underthrown. And Steven Nelson, formerly of the Pittsburgh Steelers, gets a pick there. And that's a huge game-changing interception. And big dump down there goes for a lot more as Dallas Goddard, the break, the <clears throat> the check down man on that play. Jalen Hurts has really shown a lot of promise with his legs. And Devontae Smith finding ways to get open here. He is just killing Fabian Moreau. And it looks like we might have to make a change here as... See if maybe that helps because see if AJ Terrell can lock up Devontae Smith as everybody else has failed so far. Jalen Hurts running and he slides before getting before he would have got pummeled there as Dante Fowler was chasing him down. Cam Newton talking to Mike Davis on the sidelines. Maybe trying to hype up his running back and see if they can really turn this offense around as they have struggled here early. As Miles Sanders punches it in the end zone. What a run. Philadelphia takes the lead.
Extra point is good. Philly up by seven here midway through the second quarter, 17 to 10. Cordero Patterson going to catch it at the one and take it out. Cordero hits a goal, hits a hole, <clears throat> gets up to the 23-yard line. And they see Hawkins going to the <clears throat> to the locker room. Calvin Ridley finds his way open. There it is. And now Dalman hurt. I believe that's our backup center. And the Falcons are just getting riddled with injuries here. Not what they wanted to see going into this game. Cam Newton forced to run. Trying to get out of bounds, he does. Cam Newton dodging defenders in the pocket and making his way where he needs to be. And Dowman's good enough to come back into the game. And the Falcons being riddled with injuries here in this game. Not a good look as Mike Davis pounds up the middle. Gets a really solid run there. Hands the ball to Russell Gage. Tries to cut it up the middle and doesn't really get it there. Back to the line of scrimmage though, so no loss on the play. Cam Newton brought down in the backfield by Derek Barnett, who came off that edge with such ferocity. He catches Cam Newton, not fully prepared. Cam Newton again, pummeled in the backfield by this Philadelphia defensive line and the, in the injury to, <clears throat> the injuries to Matt Hennessy is being very prevalent here as just Cam Newton has had zero time. The pump by Dustin Colquitt, fair catch called on the 16. 227 left in the second quarter. Atlanta trying to hold on and just not let this lead grow any bigger. Down by seven, still in the game by all means. Just need a little luck to go their way. And big time stop there by Deion Jones. He sniffed out that run play from the beginning. And now second and seven, two minute warning. Atlanta does get the ball at the half. They're just trying to hold on till then and hopefully turn their whole little off their whole offense around. Oh, and beautiful catch by Devontae Smith. The ball was looked to be overthrown, but he goes up and gets it in the middle. Again, <clears throat> and that's been the MO of this team so far, this game so far, is Jalen Hurts using his legs a lot, but able to just get out of trouble. And there he is again. Oh, it almost, 
He almost got lit up, but missed the tackle. And Jalen Hurts continues to push this Philadelphia Eagles team where they need to be. And Miles Sanders now. <clears throat> and And I think an injury riddle performance is really just hurt the options for <clears throat> for this team. Of course, Francis Olakun getting hurt. And, and then, of course, the injury to Grady Jarrett, which is a huge one. And we're at the half. They get out of trouble there. As we're going to focus on trying to run the ball to the outside here. And we're going to focus on containing. We're going to have to contain Jalen Hurts' mobility. If we can keep him in the pocket, I don't. I think we'll be better off. As now Atlanta gets the ball, and we're going to try and make something happen. <clears throat> Down at the 21-yard line. off target is Cam Newton he is just ever since throwing that second interception has just struggled mightily it's like he can't quite get the lid off and Cam Newton seeing the pressure tried to move but runs right into Josh Sweat and Cam Newton again and again just ends up on the ground He uncorks one. Calvin Ridley underthrown by a little bit. Another interception, a third of the day. And the third interception of the day, I think, wraps Cam Newton's day up here. We're going to go into Josh Rosen and see if just maybe he can get this offense mustering up some something. Cam Newton has just struggled mightily. Corks it, finds Miles Sanders. Jalen Hurts does what Cam Newton couldn't, finds an open man. In comes Josh Rosen with his first series of his of his season. Let's see if he can make us if he can get us anywhere better than Cam Newton has recently. First play finds Kyle Pitts, but he's dropped. What a pass, but it was dropped by Kyle Pitts as he got hit. Finds another one, Calvin Ridley this time. Josh Rosen looking poised here early. First two passes, both on the money. One dropped, one caught. 
And Kyle Pitts this time found. Josh Rosen might have been the spark this team needed. Dwayne Gallman in that running back. And grab there, wrapped up quickly as Wayne Gallman. Batted down. Fourth and one, and the Falcons know that they have to go for it here. There's no other options, honestly. Ball snapped. Up the middle is Mike Davis. Who gets the first down? The Falcons aren't out of this game yet. Josh Rosen in the shotgun. Ball is hiked. And he finds Russell Gage. Touchdown, Falcons. And... Josh Rosen ignites this team. Where Cam Newton struggled, Josh Rosen off the back foot at that. That ball traveled 59 yards through the air. Touchdown, Atlanta. And just like that, the Falcons come punching back. Falcons defense needs a stop here. And there's that's not the way to get it if Dallas got it finding his way open. <clears throat> this defense has struggled. The injuries have added up, and they have just not been able to really get off the field. What a catch there is Jalen Hurts continues to just find his guys. I mean, when he throws the ball, it's been accurate. It's been on the money. And he has looked phenomenal for this team here. Of course, he had that beautiful long ball to Miles Sanders right over the top of the defense. But, I mean, this team, if they want to really win this game, they have to show up better than what they have. I mean, it's that simple. You can't... For, do just like they have and expect to win. But stepping up on defense the way that has just now, and now it's third and seven, this defense has an opportunity. This defense has all the chance in the world to really do what needs to be done now. And Jalen Hurts maneuvering out of the pocket. Slides, doesn't get the first down, no. Fourth and one. They're going to hold him to the three. That is big for this defense. As the fourth quarter is winding down, that is a huge play for this defense. The kick is no good. I don't think it was any good. It wasn't. The kick is no good. Out comes Josh Rosen in this offense that literally just made the biggest play of the game for themselves Russell Gage Russell Gage is showing what he's made of here
And this has been a huge, huge couple drives. Cordero Patterson out the backfield. Comes in as a receiving option now and doesn't quite get enough, but third and inches. This could be the play that really sets this team apart. Calvin Ridley catches it, and Josh Rosen is still cooking. Eaten alive in the backfield is Wayne Galman. Looking back towards the eye formation now. Josh Rosen under center still. QB draw. Mike Davis up the middle. Big hit. But he holds on to the ball. And this team is really starting to get something going. Josh Rosen gets the ball out of his hands. And it's fourth and three. They're going to put their hats on. The Falcons are going to put the hat on and go for it. This could be huge for this team. He finds Kyle Pitts, who takes it longer than the first down. Kyle Pitts underneath. He has been the perfect safety valve. <clears throat> Since Josh Rosen has come into the game, he is as close to perfect as you can be. Good blocking up front. Got Mike Davis up the middle again. Kyle Pitts! He falls out of the end zone. He catches the ball, but he's down at the two. The Falcons really making an impact here. Mike Davis tried to hit the hole but couldn't quite get it. The Falcons are on the three-yard line and very, very close to tying this game up. The Falcons are able to tie this game up. It'd be arguably the biggest play of this game. Mike Davis... Couldn't get his down at the one. The Falcons are just trying to get this ball one yard. Gives it to the rookie fullback. There it is. Mason for the touchdown. And we are back with a tie ball game. Young Hoku punches it in for the tie. And the Falcons are stealing the momentum back. Ben Mason, beautiful run up the middle. If the defense can hold on, the Falcons are in prime positioning. Dolphins, the Falcons are going to stack the line. Here comes a blitz. Miles Sanders jukes out Duran Harmon, who tried to come in for the big hit, but Richie Grant there to really make the stop. Here we go. Second and five now. They, the Falcons trying to get some pressure on the young Jalen Hurts who finds Devontae Smith for a huge play. And Jalen Hurts continues to find his man any in every way he wants. The Falcons really just wanting a, a stop here, wanting to just step up and make a huge defensive play. And <clears throat> big missed tackle there by Richie Grant.
second and inches. And Devontae Smith takes a huge play. The Falcons needing a stop. They need to just hold him to three if nothing else. This defense has to step up for an offense that has gotten it together. Josh Rosen came in wanting to prove himself, and he has thus far. batted down ball that could have been bad if it was caught <clears throat> huge play defense third and six looking to just make that stop make that one big play they need to really turn the shape of this ball game around and Jalen Hurts with a huge run down to the four yard line Deion Jones tried to cut him off, but wasn't quite fast enough. And this guy just continues to do anything and everything he wants against this defense. Big stop there. Tyler Davidson. Jalen Hurts stuffed up at the one, two. Beautiful play. This team trying their best. And Miles Sanders finds the end zone. The momentum right back in Philadelphia's favor. Five minutes, 49 seconds remaining in the game. Daryl Patterson finds an opening, gets it down to the 31. Atlanta still fighting. For Daryl Patterson out the backfield. Goes for a little spin move, doesn't quite make a difference though. Steven Sims, free agent pickup. Formerly of the Washington football team makes the grab there. And this team is just going to keep it up, trying to keep the momentum going. Josh Rosen uncorks it. Doesn't quite get there, Calvin Ridley. He had his man. He tried to get it. Couldn't quite make the play though. Russell Gage in the middle of the field. Falcons looking to keep this momentum going. QB draw again, but off the line. <clears throat> Mike Davis had no chance of going anywhere. Sims touchdown 
and Josh Rosen is on fire. Cam Newton might be taking a back seat as Josh Rosen has come in. And we went into this game fully expecting Cam to be our guy. But Josh Rosen since then has just answered the call time and time again. And now this team is just looking for anything that can really get a big defensive mismatch because they are getting shredded on the defensive side of the ball. Big time tackle there, Tyler Davidson, of course. A big run stuffer. He used to play for the division rival Saints. Been with the Falcons for about three seasons now and has been a perennially good run stuffer. Jalen Hurts gets some space. And the Falcons need a stop. They are struggling so hard with the stops here. And again and again, this Falcons team just can't catch a break. They're so windy. They've been on the field so much. And again, Philly answers the call. This is going to look like be a last person to get the ball wins at this rate but this is not what what Atlanta wanted their defense played so well early on and then just looks like ever since the offense got going the defense has fallen apart Big catch gets out of bounds, saving timeouts. That one lost it over the middle as Josh Rosen was hit as he threw the ball. Check down, thrown to Mike Davis. Runs over a defender and tries to stay up. Timeout called, a minute 35 remaining. Down by seven. Can this team find their, their winning formula? Can they get something? And a sack does not bode well for that, those hopes. Second and 22 coming up. Kyle Pitts down deep. Goes up and doesn't come down. And hit as he throws, picked off, not by Josh Rosen's fault though. He was hit as he went to throw the ball and that'll be the dagger. As they're gonna come out and the Philadelphia Eagles are gonna seal this game. And that's the run that seals it. Ball game. Atlanta gave it their best shot they had as 
the Philadelphia Eagles come out in winning formation. And there it is. A valiant effort from the Atlanta Falcons. But just wasn't enough to overcome Jalen Hurts' onslaught. And we see the comparison of our quarterbacks here as Josh Rosen's QB rating was through the roof. He did everything he possibly could and just couldn't quite get it going. Mike Davis did his thing. I also want to see Jalen Hurts, 324, two touchdowns, no interceptions, just demolished us. And running the ball, he did the same, 12 for 96, 14 for 81. But yeah, as I was saying, we didn't have the best game on offense. Kyle Pitts and Russell Gage really showed off. Calvin Ridley not far behind. This team had some bright spots, also had some weak ones. They'll look to keep it going and or bounce back here in the next couple weeks. <clears throat> and as we gear up for that, Nobody stepped up where we thought they needed to, and we have one big injury. That's Matt Hennessy, of course, with that dislocated ankle. He'll be out six weeks, and Jabari Zuniga was hurt. He was out. He's going to be out at least another game. But by the time we play one more, he'll have he'll be back. So we're going to advance the week, and we're going to advance a little bit here. And this week we have Tom Brady and the Bucks. See if we can get a win here. We do not. We're 0-2 as Saquon Barkley and the New York Giants are next up on the list, it appears. And I'm actually sorry. I meant to. Let's, we're going to make Josh Rosen our starting quarterback as he answered the call. I think he earned a chance to be the starter and see what happens. So we're also going to. Wayne Gallman just unfortunately isn't a good receiving back. So we're just going to make it Cordero Patterson for now. We need to fix this as well. So I wanted that to be Marlon Davidson. I think that's another thing is like my lineup kind of got messed over for some reason. And I don't understand why. But I think I just put the wrong guy, the wrong Davidson up there. But that's what we wanted. And regular defense attack that should be the lineup, right? Yeah, okay. And then Bart can be it here. And then, all right. So next game, it looks like our defense will be at mostly full capacity against the Giants. Um, I'll see you guys in that one. We'll also start our scouting in on the next episode. Till then, I am King J, and I am Sa.